hello hello everybody and welcome back to my channel this is happy day crafts i am carmen and here today i'm going to be sharing with you guys a fun little project um i'm not sure if this is out there already but i don't think that it is i did a little bit of research i'm not gonna say i, I dove too deeply into it um but i did do a little bit of research and try to see if this idea has been done or recreated um or somehow you know just put out there i didn't really see anything that looked uh similar to what i was trying to share with you guys today so i do hope that you enjoy this tutorial and that you find this project you know inspiring and you know useful so this is kind of what i was uh thinking about as i was you know thinking about projects like art stuff and like what haven't i done for a while i've done a lot of um canvases you know alter projects just different projects like that and i've recently dove into like resins and things like that um i thought what haven't i done for a while um that i would like to kind of play with so i thought hmm maybe some atcs so this is the first design that i've um come up with i'm gonna share with you guys on a follow-up video uh the different one that you can do for the coins um, which i think will also be super cute but this one's going to be for the standard um atc size which is two and a half by three and a half now the reason that i came up with this uh with this size is because today i found these cute little boxes it has a lid i have a lid over there but i found these cute little boxes and i thought um i've it's been a while since i've dove into like paper crafting or anything like that and i was thinking this would be cool for like some kind of rolodex system so as opposed to storing like you know information people's addresses and stuff like that i thought how cool would it be to have like a little rolodex of inspiration and have them like filled with like little atcs so i thought how cool would that be not only for me to create for myself but also if in the future i decided to do some kind of a challenge um for that if you guys would be interested in that i would love to hear it down below so please comment um and i think that this would be cool to do for like a christmas um type of challenge so let me know um if you watch this video comment down below if you would like to participate in something like that um the prizes i'll discuss all of that later on but I'm going to call this the ATC double pocket Rolodex slash folder because there's more than one way that you can do this um, and I think you'll still have the best effect. One way will be to use it as a Rolodex, which is kind of what my original, um, you know, initiative was. But then I'm also thinking, I'm like, well, you don't necessarily have to use it as a Rolodex. They'll still fit in there in a nice order on their own, like little folders. So I'm like, okay, we can do both. We can have um, the options. So I'm only going to show you guys the one way because, honestly speaking, adding the holes to the bottom is going to be the simplest part of this whole project. Um, but this project overall is super simple, super, super simple to do. And I think that you can do it with um, items that you might already have. Now, you can adjust the base um, to fit maybe a third ATC if your box obviously is wide enough, you know, long enough uh, to do that. And you can go ahead and do that. This box right here. Let me see if it says the size. Um, it's actually, I'm going to tell you right now, it is seven and about a half inches by four and a quarter. And you can actually make the box yourself. So those are the dimensions for this box. And I made this to fit this um, specifically. So the dimensions of this is going to be seven inches across, so seven inches wide by six and an eighth in height okay now the topper is completely optional it all depends on how much height you want on your card um but you can totally you know do it however how you would like for me i like the height of um six and an eighth it kind of fits perfect now another thing that i'm going to tell you is that this part of it here is totally customizable to however you would like to do it and i'm going to show you really quickly how you're going to be able to do that in a second so this um, pocket is designed to hold two ATCs, okay? So we're going to have a gusset on this side and a gusset on that side and then a gusset in the middle. The only alternative to this is if you don't use a file folder. If you use regular cardstock, if you use chipboard, then you're going to need a gusset in the bottom as well to close it off. Give me one second. I need to have a drink of water. And the only alternative to this is if you're using like individual sheets of like cardstock or your favorite papers or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to take the pieces out. 
and show you guys this is just you know to show you an example like I said with a folder it'll be a lot easier um, because you don't have to worry about the bottom gusset and we have some indicator lines that will basically tell you specifically where you know uh, you can add your holes if you're going to be using um, you know a paper puncher in order to turn this into a Rolodex okay so this is what it looks like when it's all cut out if you use chipboard to create your master then you will automatically have the two sizes for your um, ATCs so if you use it out of chipboard then you already have that going and you can also create a chipboard topper just to reinforce it and make it even sturdier on the top layer so this is what it looks like in folder form so it's gonna open up like that and you're gonna have your um, back base and then you're going to have your two windowed areas okay to um, allow for your artwork to show through you can use either packaging or some kind of clear um, sheeting and what you're going to do is you're going to basically place it there and you're going to glue that into place so that your paper in the background when your cards are not in it shows so you see with some kind of clear packaging um, and then this will also help in case you have like dimension onto your ATCs and this will also help to kind of like protect those little you know little bits and pieces so that they don't fall off right so hopefully um so far you guys are kind of following me let me go back to my little <laughs> I usually don't even draw things out like this but I felt the need to so that you guys can hopefully see um, you know what I'm trying to show here so all we have to basically do, um, once we have our folder, let me just put this somewhere where it's not going to fall. You're going to basically measure 7 inches across, and then you're just going to cut straight straight down, right? Once you got that part, then you're going to measure 6 and 1 eighth in the height. And you're going to draw yourself a line so that you know where the height peak is, right? You're going to draw yourself a line. You could even cut that part out. Once you have that done, to create your own custom, um, custom like topper, unless you want to use like your custom dies and stuff like that, which you can. But let's say you don't have the luxury of, of doing those, or you don't have a die that is long enough to kind of uh, fit the top. Then all you're gonna do is basically grab your folders, right? So this is still a folder. Right now we just have a blank base, and you're gonna fold it over. And remember, you're going to be covering all of this with paper, so none of those, um, like let's say you, you fold it too harshly, that's not going to really show. And you're going to be reinforcing all of this with paper once it's all done. So you want, you're going to want to hold them like, you know, not too much pressure on the end, but you want to kind of hold them like that. And then you just can create, knowing that that is the highest you can go, um, you know, you can create however intricate of a topper you want to create and then once you have your folder ready to go before you do anything else you're gonna go ahead and decide what papers you're gonna want to use once you've got your papers that you want to use then you're gonna use your folder as the template for your papers keeping in mind that one of these papers or depending on if you're gonna be covering the whole inside and the whole outside or if you're gonna be covering the window area on the inside because you might choose not to do that Maybe you might just want to ink it up or do something, you know, a little bit more simpler. However you would like to do that. Then what you're going to want to do is obviously you're going to have your two papers um, or your four papers, however you're going to do it. Uh, and you're going to use this as your template for each of those. And then when it comes to the front, once you have your papers ready to go and all your bases are ready to go and you're like, okay, I'm going to cover the front, I'm going to cover the back. I'm going to do all of that then you're going to go ahead and grab your paper that's going to go here in the front you're going to put it on the inside remember we've already cut out all of this and then you're simply going to just trace the inside of your ATC pockets you're going to remove that from here which we're going to do in a second you're going to remove that from there so you're going to have basically the same frame but in your decorated paper or in your pattern paper okay then we have some gussets that we're going to be um, needing to put in place I have these made out of this but I'm going to be cutting these out out of my pattern paper to put them on the inside 
And I'm missing, I'm missing one of these. Where did they go? <laughs> Here it is. Okay. So these measure, um, the gussets measure four and three, um, four and three sixteenths in height. Okay. Now, when it comes to the gussets, because obviously all of our crafting styles are a little bit different and some ATCs are going to be flatter than others. Some of them are going to be a little bit more dimensional. Here's where you have a little bit of wiggle room. You can add, you can choose to make your gussets um, bigger. You can even choose to add more folds into your gussets and make them more accordion like so that you get a lot more flex out of your pockets in case your ATC is like, you know, a little bit thicker um, or has a lot, you know, certain embellishments. I made the window so that it's the perfect size of the ATC, but you can choose to maybe make it a little bit larger um, if you want to allow maybe more flex in the pocket or in the, in the plastic of the pocket. So you can tweak it a little bit and adjust it a little bit to, um, you know, your needs. So we're going to have two of these gussets. These are going to be used for the sides. Um, so these gussets will basically be for like a regular ATC that doesn't have too, too much um, dimension. It doesn't have like, you know, it doesn't exceed uh, too much height. And these are going to be glued onto the sides. Okay. Now, we have this bottom part here. And like I said before, um, these folders have a pre-score. The reason that you see these markings here is because I grabbed a straw and kind of uh, eyeballed where the middle was and then just kind of basically stamped it out with a straw um, because that's what I will be using in order to cut out my holes. The only difference is, is that I wouldn't do it so high up. I would actually do it within this one quarter of an inch. So it would probably be like right here. Um, so in that event, what I would do is that I'm going to glue down this first quarter of an inch I'll make sure that that's sealed tight so that all I have is the rest of this, right? And I'm going to put this all together probably in a speed through video. This is where I'm doing a lot of the talking and just kind of um, going through all of the different steps with you guys um, during this part of the video. So at this point in time, this will be um, glued down tight, right? With our gussets in place, they will be glued you know from that quarter of an inch up right so you're not going to glue them from the bottom because if you seal this then you're going to pinch your gusset which that might mess up the whole um, functionality of it so once you have this part glued down now you're a quarter of an inch higher you're going to place your tip of your gusset there you're going to glue that side down you're going to place the other side and you're going to do that um, for both right but before you do that because i forgot a very important part before you add these gussets um, what you're going to want to do is and add the center, um, the center fold. And the center fold is basically a Z fold. Again, you can play with this and make it more accordion-like if um, that's what suits your needs, depending on the thickness of your ATC or what you're going to be using your pockets for. Because as I see it, I think that these will be really cute um, and really awesome to like send like um, goodies and embellishments and like little things like that. And you could even... Um, go as far as adding another set of pockets in the back so like there's a whole bunch of different ways that I think that this would be like super cute and then you could have like a little box full of like these little pockets um, these little folders with these little pockets with embellishments that you can actually see so as you're kind of going through your box you can see like all the embellishments and you can just pull out the one that you need take what you need out bang, and put it back right and they're gonna be in their individual compartments so this little gusset right here goes in the center and it weighs, um, it weighs, <laughs> it measures 9 sixteenths of an inch and the length of it is uh, 4 and 3 quarters, okay, so 4 and 3 quarters in length and then it's, um, where is it, <clears throat> and then one side is 9 sixteenths, so if you're measuring, go 9 sixteenths, go to the score line here, 9 sixteenths, go to the score line here, 9 sixteenths, that's the easiest way that I can tell you guys, okay, um, those of you guys that are really savvy with the ruler will figure it out like this. Me, I'm not so savvy, okay? Not so savvy with the ruler. So, um, you're going to place that there. So, you want it to basically be the same width or just a little bit less than the width of the center. And that's going to get glued there. And then that's going to get glued on the other side. And you won't, you shouldn't be able to see this. Again, you might want to do this part in decorative paper or paint them or something um, so that you don't really see that. And then... Again, that's going to uh, uh, provide that flex onto your um, 
project, right? So you have a little bit of flex there as well with the gussets. So what I'm going to do now is um, stop this part of the video and I can tell you, I can show you better than I can tell you. But again, if you do use this, <clears throat> if you do um, find this video helpful and you find yourself inspired and you do recreate um, this project in any of its capacities as far as being a Rolodex, a folder, or a goodie pockets, um, you know, that you can kind of storage and organize like some of your embellishments in a nice little box, um, then don't forget to credit this video. That will be greatly, greatly appreciated. It will help my channel to grow and also share this information with others that they can also find it you know helpful and inspiring as well so with that being said i want to thank you ahead of time and we're going to go on to the speed through and then i'll come back with another um little footnote at the end
Alright you guys, so this is the completed um, version. Again, I didn't go too crazy with embellishing it and adding all of the extra goodies that us crafters tend to do. I wanted to kind of make this tutorial somewhat of the quicker version. Um, as you notice through the speed through, I did go ahead and create a back cover for it because I hadn't done it. And you also saw kind of how I went about cutting out the windows, but again, you can use whatever method is the easiest for you. I think these came out super cute. Um, I just wanted to give you guys maybe a few extra tips. Um, or maybe some suggestions. You can use cellophane bags instead of using um, the clear uh, packaging like I did. Um, that was just what I had close to me and I saw that it was see-through. So I just used it real quick just to kind of get this idea out of my head and get the finished product done. But you're going to see them in a lot of different ways. Um, I'm going to find some of my cellophane bags and other things and I'll come back and show you. Another thing that you can also do to this is add... Um, a little pocket and super easy to do you have to do maybe is cut a uh, envelope and maybe cut it um, that'll fit nicely decorate the envelope glow the um, glue the envelope in onto it and then you have a little extra area maybe for your address a little note um, whatever you would like to add if you're sending this as part of a happy mail again it's super slim I think it's super cute it shouldn't cost too much to ship something like this out if you wanted to send somebody some happy mail again this can also be used not just for ATCs although that is like the principal idea of how this whole thing started but you can also um, send uh, little handmade embellishments or other little, little goodies that will fit in here like little die cuts and things of that nature again um, you have a wider area um, with the way that I did it because of the gusset but if you're using certain little bags then you're obviously going to be confined to the size of your bags again these windows can be adjusted to fit whatever your needs are I just thought it was super super cute um, again in the bottom you can go ahead and turn this into a roller deck um, super simple just by going ahead and cutting into it now what I did is to get it to the measurement that I wanted so that it can be kind of square in the center of each one of um, my little cutout areas is that I went a quarter inch up, which you guys saw the little um, score line that's already on the folder. And then at one and three quarters, punch a hole. And then again at five and three eighths, punch a hole. Okay, right under that uh, one quarter inch. And then that should leave you with a, a circle that's kind of cut off. So it won't be a complete circle, which should give you enough room to be able to place these on straws if you're doing the DIY. If you have um, the paper punch that goes with, like let's say the Happy Planner styles and other things like that, then you can totally change um, how you do that whole part of the setup. Just wanted to, guys um, to give you some ideas as far as different ways that you can go ahead and use it. Okay, and again, this is my template. And this is the ATC double pocket Rolodex folder, but again, you can use it for like goodies, whatever you guys would like. Um, if you do end up liking this idea and using it forward, um, don't forget to leave a link to my channel. That would be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. And that is all for today, you guys. So I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed and I cannot wait to see what you guys um, are going to be doing, these, uh, doing with these. Um, again, real quick, just a quick little reminder. I am kind of uh, thinking about the idea of doing this as kind of like a challenge um, for November, December. So let me know if you guys would be interested. It will be an ATC um, challenge with uh, following this tutorial and creating your own double pocket uh, folder like this. So let me know and then I'll go ahead and gather all the details and hopefully have that video out by the end of this month to give you guys a good amount of time to kind of like work on those and things like that. So. Without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like, thumbs up, follow me on social media, leave a comment, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye! I'm gonna edit it anyway.